Hello, children. Wednesday is here, which means it is time to check out the new updates in War of the Visions. Let me just say that the start screen looks amazing. Very nice. Getting down to business, it feels like it's been a long time since we last saw them, but we finally have some free banners. Let's see if we can get a rainbow with this one. Oh well, can't win them all, right? Let's try one more time. Well, at least it's some MOG medals, right? The single, random you are guaranteed banner is not worth it, for obvious reasons. But this is most definitely worth it. You get 10 UI units, including one of your choice. We can also expect a similar banner for vision cards soon, and I am definitely going after that one. If you have some paid this or lying around, this is easily the best way to use it. The little bunny Resnick is hopping onto the scene, and she has all the banners that you would expect. Nothing particularly exciting or game changing, as far as the banners go. Do you know what rhymes with deluxe, children? That's right. Disappointment. At least that's what Gumi thinks. The 40 unit shard select ticket is sort of decent, but everything else is just sad. It's like that famous song. Is this real life, or is this just disappointment? The regular shop looks fancier than usual, but it's all pretty much the usual stuff, so grab the free stuff, and leave. The Mog Shop has the pity for the little bunny, and Merry Moore as well. So you can snag both of them, if you want to empty your Vissi or wallet, that is. The Rabbit Medal Exchange has some nice stuff, alongside a very expensive Phoenix Down, for some ungodly reason. A couple of new challenge boards are here as well, and, it looks like the Homeless Man collaboration is gonna last for a very, very long time. May the crystals protect us from the homeless man's influence. Finally, taking a look at the far plane, the next chapter of the another story is here, so check out the new crystal warriors that we can look forward to. If you are considering going after the new bunny girl, I would suggest waiting for a couple of days, just so we can get a decent grasp of what she's capable of. Who knows, you might get her from the free tickets, too. For the new players out there, I would recommend not going after her, as evasion units need a lot of work to make them function properly, which a new account would be lacking. So are you spending your Vissi or savings on her? Or are you taking the meta baby approach, and saving for the big, meta stuff? Do let me know in the comments. Well that's all I have for you today, children. Have a good day, always remember to keep breathing, and may the light of the crystals guide you.